The National Parks Board says it has completed a detailed check of all the trees in the Palm Valley at the Singapore Botanic Gardens and found them to be safe. Cleanup efforts have also been completed a day after a massive tembusu tree toppled, killing one and injuring four others. Meanwhile, NPARC says it's also exploring other tree inspection methods. Visitors to the Singapore Botanic Gardens on Sunday were blocked from entering certain parts of the park as clearance operations and investigations were ongoing. Many say being aware of one's surroundings is important. Yesterday was quite windy as well, so yeah, I mean, a bit more mindful, but um, I think this thing can happen anytime and everywhere. As an individual, yeah, I mean, you need to look out and see what's going on. Park says the more than 270-year-old Tembusu tree had undergone regular checks and was certified healthy when last inspected in September 2016. But according to an expert, recent weather conditions could have caused the tree to topple. After a few weeks of heavy rain, the soil condition may have changes. When the soil condition is not favorable, then uh, the stability of the tree will be compromised. And just slight movement of the soil condition uh, or soil destruction of the soil condition, it, the, the, the load from the tree may be too big and that's why it can come down by itself. And Park says it has also been increasing the frequency of tree inspections due to the more unpredictable weather recently. Since November last year, instituted an annual check of all trees that are more than four meters in girth. These are these are our old mature trees. We've been improving the health of our trees. And we do this by supplementing fertilizing with regular mulching. We also carry out pruning to ensure that our trees are structurally, uh, they have good structural forms and they are balanced. And Park says checks will also be conducted on trees in surrounding areas as well as all heritage trees in the gardens. Meanwhile, Palm Valley, where the incident happened, remains closed to the public, but the rest of the gardens is safe to visit. Moving forward, the National Park Sport says it's already looking at using technology to better understand the impacts of various weather conditions, such as rain and wind, on its trees. Well, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung has expressed his condolences to the casualties and families affected by the fallen Tembusu tree at the Botanic Gardens yesterday. In a Facebook post, Mr Lee said, our hearts go out to the casualties and their families. The incident claimed the life of 38-year-old Indian national Radhika Angara. Channel News Asia understands that she's the regional digital he marketing head for Asia Pacific at MasterCard. She previously held the position of chief marketing and strategy officer at global social and mobile payment platform FasterCash. According to FasterCash's man management, Radhika was an inspirational leader who garnered the respect of her colleagues. Among those injured were her husband, 39-year-old French national Jerome and their one-year-old twins. All have since been discharged from hospital. According to his LinkedIn profile, Mr. Rush Sirek heads retail at Puma Southeast Asia. 26-year-old Singaporean Ms. Te Pei Le was also injured in the incident. She too has been discharged from hospital.